Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome. This is the Brutal Hex Wraith. This is a very, very nasty build if it's left alone. First up is Hex Devour Hope. When a survivor is rescued from the hook and we're more than 24 meters away, we will gain a token. After two tokens, we gain 5% uh, haste speed. After three tokens, everyone is exposed. And after five tokens, we can uh, morry them. Hex Haunted Ground. Two trapped Hex tokens will spawn. Anyone who cleanses these will expose the whole team for 60 seconds. Third is Thrill the Hunt. Survivor's cleansing speed is reduced by 6% for each totem, and we also gain a notification when someone starts working on one of the Hex totems. Hex Undying. When they break one of our Devour Hope or our Haunted Grounds, this will create another Hex totem. So basically, there's a chance of you getting either two Devour Hopes or two Haunted Grounds. Add-ons I've gone for the speed boost so we can get to the totems when they're being worked on, and all seeing when we do get them exposed, we'll be able to see where they're hiding. The idea of this build is to try and get a hook as fast as possible. We'll get Devour Hope tokens up and running and try and get a snowball effect. Enjoy the video guys, let me know what you think at the end. Now this survivor, I went a cloak, broke the pallet, she had plenty of time to run away. She decides just to loop the building. Not quite sure what Laurie is doing. Unfortunately, Laurie is a little bit salty and she actually DC, so we can't get the Devour Hope stack for her.
that is haunted ground now propped so if we can get a stack off near here we will have all the survivors exposed to 60 seconds and also devour hope stack 3 they'll all be exposed again it's quite a good snowball effect We need to be 24 meters away from either of the hooks and then we'll get a token if we can get two tokens if we're more than 24 meters away so i'm going to move away from the two hooks there's token number three everyone is now exposed they don't know it yet and if we get one for the other survival i'll be four stacks That is the five stacks. We can now marry all the survivors when we down them. So they're now exposed and we can marry them. We have still got one haunted ground and we've also got our four tokens on Thrill of the Hunt and we've also got the Vower Hope. It's not looking good for these survivors. actually brought the green Mori in because like in case I had trouble with the flashlight off Cheryl that is the brutal hex wraith build what do you think guys and girls let me know in the comments below it can snowball savagely big time if the survivors don't actively destroy the hex totems they're in big trouble just like in this game i've had games where they've taken so many times after the totems they don't do the gems and you get them anyway so let me know in the comments guys thanks for watching and stay safe